Sophia Soto with the Nerds of Color. It is such a pleasure to speak with all of you. Um, huge congrats on the film, by the way. It was great. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. I am excited about it. I know, I know it was fun. It was great. And uh, you guys are playing with so many different layers here with the darkness of the film and then the, the comedy aspect. What was it like mixing all of them for you guys? Great, but it was, yeah, it was definitely, it, it felt like that we all collectively felt a little bit insane as our characters did. <laughs> Natasha, <laughs> it's like it's like having it's like having really intense ADD on acid and on, you know something else. But yeah, it is it is a multi layered approach to filmmaking and something unlike anything I've ever done before. And um, visually knowing that it was going to be very abstract and and knowing Adam's work from the past, I knew visually it was going to be such an interesting ride. Just uh, just in that alone, forget about you know what you're doing with your character. But I thought. This is going to be fun. This is going to be a fun one to, to do. So yeah, you know, it's good. Yeehaw! <laughs> wow! That's wow! What it, that's what it was like for Adam. That's what it was like. That's the perfect answer. That's exactly what I was looking for. He he beat both of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> and Vanessa, Natasha, what was your favorite part of playing these characters specifically? They seem like they were just really fun to get into, honestly. Yeah, I mean, my favorite part was I haven't had the opportunity to play a character like this before. I don't think I ever will again. And <laughs> the uniqueness of the project and of the character was what was so fun. And and I really appreciated the satirical thing that Adam was going for, that you could do these really, really dark plot lines, but there's this very rich humor that is there and like piercing through is the only way that I could describe it. So performance wise, that is a really fun thing to explore. I mean, it's always fun to play a murderous psychopath and, and you know, in a, in a film, you know, or just art imitating life, you know, for me, no, I'm <laughs> kidding, that was a joke. <laughs> um, yeah, no, just that sort of elevated, heightened, sort of crazy reality situation. I thought that that was a lot of fun. Yeah, just getting to push the boundaries. And it had a real theatrical aspect to it. I felt like everything was, funny enough, and when I was working with everything I did was big and blah, blah, blah. I've never really done that before that I can think of. And it was so interesting because Ron was just like down here. And so there was just all this all these different fun elements to, to play around with. And so it was, it was like really- like your own adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it, it, like, yeah, it is totally. It was that, yeah, super, super cool. And Adam, what do you think is going to make this film stick out, make it unique? Although it is really unique in itself uh, when watching it. Uh, I think both of these ladies and Ron Perlman did a great job and also, uh, the rest of the cast and um, and my crew, um, I think they all did a great job. And and um, you know, I uh, I just make movies. It's like I don't know what's gonna make it stick out or stand out or anything. I just I just tell stories. I'm a storyteller, and I, and I love doing it. It's what I do. Have you guys gotten to watch the full thing? I got to watch it early. So have you guys gotten to watch it? If you have, what was your reaction? How did you feel seeing everything play out? Because it's one thing filming it, but then seeing it all sort of come together with everything must be a whole different experience. Well, Natasha's seeing it for the first time tonight. <laughs> <gasps> oh my gosh. I'm so excited for you to see it. <laughs> I'm excited to see it too. I'm scared, but I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I got a little bit of an early glimpse and it is bizarre. <laughs> but in in the best way, like yes. I think that's what, you know, you read the script and you go, this is bizarre. You shoot the scenes and it's bizarre. You watch the film and go, it's bizarre, but it is always true to itself and its uniqueness. And exactly what Adam's saying, it's like, he makes movies see it if you want to see it but he's going to make it nevertheless and that's what it is it's not inhibited by anybody trying to make it into something else it is what it was on the page through and through and it's just a creative vision that was allowed to just be free 
that's the, mm. that's the best kind of stories to tell, right? When you just can go loose and, and have a freedom with it. Um, it's pretty unusual, right? For a director, a writer, and a producer for them to do all of those kind of have all those hats on and to have that, to have that freedom without a million other cooks in the kitchen saying, yeah, but this is what sells and this is what works. And this is, this is not that. And what it doesn't. Right. It's like, I'm going to wear freedom. <laughs> Full control. <laughs> Full that's control. You're Definitely. Mr. Wollendorf, aren't you? I just figured it out. I wish I wish it was all true. Um, <laughs> you know, I I um I work with people and and I struggle on the production end and in some ways where I wish I didn't have to do that, you know. And um, you know, but on the creative end, I always just try to I prioritize the creative end, like way way prioritized creative end and 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 then sometimes the production end suffers and um you know the work that has to be done there doesn't wind up on screen so who cares you know mm -hmm. i i, I want to give you all a fun creative question because this film is made for this sort of question but what would be your like tagline or phrase to kind of tease and describe the film if you could come up with your own hmm. murder murder mayhem influence all of it on acid <laughs> <laughs> i'm not good at making taglines can you tell that I'm was my sorry, <laughs> that was great. <laughs> I immediately go to my character doing a real housewife tagline is the way that that translated in my brain to which I, it would be um, I'm rich and depressed but also I'm drunk. <laughs> I love I love the whole like thing you did there too Vanessa like you had the face you like did the little she's Bravo. in me. she's in Bravo. me. <laughs> I found her I would have a particular me. walk too when she runs. Yes, and she, exactly. She's in, she's in heels even when she's not in heels. <laughs> and I just want to ask you all, what was your favorite sort of memory while filming it? Uh, I loved it when we all had to evacuate because uh, <laughs> because it was a fire. And, um, you know, we almost, we, we, we could have, we could have all burnt up and died and so, so we had to evacuate the whole, um, legit, like we were shooting a fire broke out a mile away from where we were shooting. And it was like in the middle of the night, we saw a whole rest of the day left to shoot. We had to evacuate. Vanessa, Vanessa told me to evacuate the crew. I don't even think she knew I was the producer. She was <laughs> I, was like, like, I was like, this is where we need to leave. <laughs> and by the way, I was, I was like, I'll talk to my producers. And then it was like, and then we bailed. <laughs> I'll talk to my producer. By the way, driving home, fire next to the road. So legit, it we needed to evacuate. Like yeah. it was no joke. Yeah, we did. Yeah, didn't we come back like a couple weeks? Like, where were we? Yeah, gone then we came back. We evacuated and came back. It was super fun. We all loved, we all loved it. That memorable. I can't, in my heart, I'll never forget that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you all so much for taking the time. Congrats again. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.